Welcome to yet another video session. In this session, we will discuss about the major environmental issues and how we can deal with them. So today, we will discuss about the effects of climate change. What is the role of AI in enhancing the quality of environment? How AI can be used to save the planet Earth? Next, we will talk about how we can conserve biodiversity. What is poverty? And what is the effect of growing population on the environment? Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. Human population size has grown tremendously over the last 100 years. This means that increase in demand for food, water, home, electricity, roads, automobiles and numerous other commodities. These demands are causing tremendous pressure on our natural resources and are contributing to pollution of air, water and soil. The need of the hour is to check the degradation and depletion of our precious natural resources and pollution without halting the process of development. Talking about pollution, pollution is any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological characteristics of air, land, water or soil. Agents that bring about such an undesirable change are known as pollutants. In order to control the environmental pollution, the Government of India has passed the Environmental Protection Act in 1986 to protect and improve the quality of environment that is air, water and soil. Nowadays, there are many environmental issues. Environmental issues can be defined as the harmful effects of human activities on the Earth's environment. Environmental issues include many types of human activities which causes pollution, wastage, disposal, climatic change, global warming, greenhouse effect, etc. In order to tackle these issues, there are various types of environmental protection programs which are being practiced at the individual, organization and government levels. The aim of these programs has been to establish a balance between man and the environment. So now let us discuss the different environmental issues one by one. First is climatic change. Climate change is one of the biggest concern in today's scenario of environmental issues. Climate change has been escalated over the last few decades with the advent of the destruction of the natural habitat, global warming, overpopulation and pollution. Greenhouse gases which increase the Earth's temperature are major concern of climate change. Environmental changes cause destructive impacts like the melting of glaciers, changes in seasons, epidemics, etc. Next is global warming. Global warming is caused by the increased temperature of the Earth's environment due to the burning of fossil fuels, emissions from automobiles and chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere. This has led to an increase in the environmental changes and also has and has also impacted the environment adversely. This increase in the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere across the globe is known as global warming. Next is ozone layer depletion. The ozone layer is a layer which protects the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The ozone layer is an extremely important layer for the Earth. However, over the time it is being destroyed by CFCs that is chlorofluorocarbons which are used in industries and everyday life. The chlorine present in the compounds destroys the ozone layer. There is a formation of a hole in the ozone layer and this hole leaves humans and wildlife exposed to the harmful UV rays resulting in several skin diseases including cancer. Next is water pollution. Water pollution is caused by the introduction of harmful substances into rivers, oceans, lakes and ponds. This leads to the changes in physical, chemical or biological condition of the water, resulting in water pollution. The water which has been polluted lacks oxygen and therefore the organisms living in that particular water body die. It is our prime duty to prevent water from any kind of pollution as it is a main source of life. Air pollution Air pollution is a type of pollution which is caused as a result of emissions from industries, automobiles and the increasing use of fossil fuels by human beings. The gaseous emissions results in an increase in the temperature of the earth. Air pollution causes various health issues, various health problems. It has also increased the risk of diseases among individuals and made the environment too difficult to live in. Next is deforestation. Deforestation is another reason for environmental issues which is caused by the depletion of trees and forests at an alarming rate. Trees are very important for us because they provide us with oxygen and several raw materials and also maintain the temperature of the earth. 
However, due to the depletion of trees and forest by human beings for commercial purposes, there has been a drastic change in the environment in the earth's climate. We can conclude that the destruction of forest has led to the elimination of a large number of plants and animal species affecting biodiversity. Next factor is overpopulation. Overpopulation is a major cause of the destruction of earth's environment. The earth's environment, the earth's population is increasing drastically and the increasing population has led to a shortage of resources. If overpopulation continues, it will be very difficult to sustain for the next generation. Overpopulation has affected an increase in pollution, waste management, deforestation, climate change and global warming. Next we will talk about the people's participation in the conservation of forest. So you must have heard about Chipko movement of Garwali Himalayas. In 1974, local women showed enormous bravery in protecting the trees from the axe of contractors by hugging them. People all over the world have praised the Chipko movement. Realizing the significance of participation by local communities, the government of India in 1980s has introduced the concept of joint forest management so as to work closely with the local communities for protecting and managing forest. In return for their services to the forest, the communities get benefit of various forest products example fruits gum rubber medicine etc and thus the forest can be conserved in a sustainable manner next let us discuss a case study of delhi how we can control vehicular air pollution with its very large population of vehicular traffic delhi leads the country in its level of air pollution it has more cars than the states of gujarat and west bengal put together in the 1990s delhi ranked fourth among the 41st most populated cities of the world air pollution problems in delhi become so serious that it was difficult to control it after being censored very strongly by the supreme court the government was asked to take within a specified time period appropriate measures including switching over the fuel of the public transport that is buses from diesel to compress natural gas that is cng all the buses of G- all the buses of delhi were converted to run on cng by the end of 2002 so you can ask the question why cng is better than diesel cng burns more effectively unlike petrol or diesel in automobiles and very little of it left unburned moreover also cng is cheaper than petrol or diesel the main problem with switching over to cng is the difficulty of laying down pipelines to deliver cng through distribution points or pumps ensuring uninterrupted power supply thanks to the efforts made the air quality of delhi has significantly improved according to an estimate a substantial fall in carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide level has been found in delhi between 1997 and 2005 I hope you find this video useful. If you have any suggestion or queries, then you can ask in the comment box. For more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to this channel.